Good day, everybody. Welcome to another uh, podcast of Bible in a Year, and this is day number uh, 32. Um, And uh, for day number 32, you should have read chapters 1 through 4 of Leviticus. We've entered a new chapter in our Bible in a Year program, and uh, very powerful truths of all these different offerings in there in um, in chapters 1, 2, and 3, we have the burnt offering, the meat offering, the peace offering. And those offerings were uh, designed by God to mean that God's people would maintain fellowship with him. And then in chapters 4 and 5, uh, you got the sin offering, trespass offering. And those offerings God designed for restoration of fellowship. Um the uh, as you read through this book, you're going to find that if you would read the book of Hebrews, it will help you understand um, the book of Leviticus much better. As a matter of fact, um, in Hebrews, it talks about many things, as we'll see in the next podcast. But it talks about that these were figures or patterns or the shadow of good things to come. So you can kind of see through that. And uh, so anyway, um, in the in the uh, readings for today, I just want to focus on chapter 3 where it talks about the peace offering. I just want to kind of relate it here uh, to us as believers. There's two ways peace is applied throughout the scripture, especially in the New Testament. And the Bible says that, um, first of all, peace people must make peace with God. And uh, when you read Romans chapter 5, verse 1, I'll just turn there, Romans chapter 5, verse 1, you'll see that the Bible talks about this principle. Therefore, being justified with by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So you got to make peace with God in order to experience the peace of God. So you got to have that. It's interesting, the Bible talks about Christ as being the Prince of Peace over there in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. And then 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 18 to 21 talks about reconciliation because man is at enmity with God. And it's only through Jesus Christ that when someone puts their faith and trust in Jesus Christ that they can make peace with God, which in turn results in reconciliation. Amen. We're reconciled. We are brought back into that right relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And uh, so the other application of it is Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Very familiar passages to many believers. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 in the Bible says, Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God and... The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So, you make peace with God. When someone makes peace with God, then they will fully know the peace of God. You have the opportunity. So, how do we get that? Well, the Bible says that we need to not worry about stuff. Be careful for nothing. Don't be full of care. Don't worry. And what do you do? What's What's the alternative, God says? prayer and supplication. We bring it to God in prayer with thanksgiving. Prayer should be brought with thanksgiving. We need to let our requests be made known unto God. And then, and the peace of God will come. So in order for you to enjoy the peace of God, again, with these days that we're living in, what are you thinking about? What are you reading? What are you watching? What's controlling your mind today? We need to be very careful. We need to guard our hearts and we need to guard our minds. Amen. So the peace of God. I trust that you've made peace with God. And if you have, I hope that you are experiencing the peace of God today. Amen. Well, we'll check in with you on the next episode of Bible in a Year.